There are very few decks in Marvel Snap that are as emotionally charged as playing Hella Discard. I mean, if you think about it, this is like the winner-takes-all style deck gameplay. If they don't have Cosmo, and uh, you can get your Invisible Woman Modoc Hella set up, that's basically all you need to potentially win. Now, we are playing a couple meme cards in here. First of all, Black Cat's in there, which is not wholly necessary, but I wanted Black Cat in there. But mainly, it's the Living Tribunal. Now, this is kind of funny. If you're looking to play some Hella Discard, I actually don't really even recommend playing Living Tribunal. The card is like a massive of meme and in some ways even makes this deck worse but like i feel like this is one of the only true ways to play living tribunal if you have the card and you want locked in your spotlight caches and you want to give it a shot then go ahead but honestly you can cut it right out a couple of the tech choices in this deck are actually pretty fascinating the first is crystal because well i don't care if they're drawing cards we need to draw cards because we need to make sure that we have our modok and our hella and crystal basically increases those opportunities we're also running magic essentially what you want to do is you want to have invisible woman on the board by turn four and then you have magic is an option on turn five if you've not drawn into your Hella and Modok yet. And then what you hope to do is you hope to draw into your uh, Modok and Hella on turn six and seven at that point so that you can play under the Invisible Woman, blow up absolutely everything, and win the game. So you do have some tech centric plays that help you to ensure, I don't want to say the word ensure, let's be honest, this is Hella discard, in order to increase the odds you pull your combo. Uh, I had so much fun with this deck. It was just an absolute blast to play, but like, is it competitive? I wouldn't say so. We're actually having a lot of fun in this match you're seeing right now on the screen. Uh, this is actually a one and out kind of uh, eight cuber, and then we're gonna do a conquest run afterwards as well. Uh, and uh, you're gonna see that like, yes, okay, we were pretty successful playing our deck, but uh, I gotta tell you, if you're looking for consistency, look elsewhere because Hella is not gonna do it. Regardless, this is a super fun video that I wanted to share with you guys. Not only does it feature Hella, which we've not talked about in a very long time, but it actually has Living Tribunal, which some of you might have opened in your uh, spotlight caches this past week. Regardless, if you'd like to support the series, hitting the like button is the best thing you can do. It's free and it's all that YouTube cares about. And if you'd like to join our wonderful community live on Twitch, I got a link in the description and in the comment section below. Hope you enjoy this amazing run in Conquest. I believe. Lady Jean. Ah, uh, this is very winnable. They're underperforming these these locations here. This is kind of funny. I am Iron Man. Fist bumps coming out. Look at that living tribunal gameplay. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it actually worked. Do I think the cube collector from last night is good enough for an 89 dividend? Yes. I think that there are pretty much a multitude of decks that you can take to infinite. I really do believe that. Content go burr. Hey, we're always going content go burr. Oh, yeah. Let's go. That's perfect. That's friggin' perfect. I, I love that. I love that so much. He, he gets a Quinjet. What an absolute friggin' joke. You guys want me to snap? All right. I'm not tilting. I'm not. All right. We're going lad. Good play. It's an excellent play, honestly. Yo, I just hit an invisible woman? What a friggin' joke. What an absolute hilarious joke this is. I can play magic mid. <clears throat> or I can discard cards. Yo, let's go with the discard. Or I can float into infinite. Yo, I float into Infinite right and the Giganto left, I guess. This is actually kind of funny. That's a lot of power here, though. Ooh, Titania top deck for eight. Tell me we win this game. 
Why would you Shang-Chi? Oh my god, he lost. I can't believe it. No. What's your plan? Come on. Tell me you lost this game for eight cubes. Oh my gosh. That is one of the most insane. Oh, he's gone. He just tilted out of silver. He just couldn't handle it. Wow. He literally just tilted out completely. He's gone. Marvel Snap has been uninstalled. And um, I apologize. I That was not my intention. That was not my intention. Hella's conquest continues as we get into silver here, going for our gold ticket. Hella, trying to make dreams come alive. All right, we go. Am I going to do a quake deck? Hell yeah, we can do a quake deck. I'm all about that. Played and played against your... Sur no way, people are playing my Gene Surfer deck on ladder? That's awesome. I You know what? That's one of the things that uh, has been really, really, really like awe-inspiring to me is that... Um, Finding people playing my deck list, like on ladder and stuff like that. Like to me, that's so just awesome. It's so fun. Got the invisible. We just need Modok. Hazmat. We got the Giganto. We can actually play Hazmat here, honestly, because it'll reveal at the end of the game. And if we Modok Hella, it doesn't even matter. Probably just hits magic or ladder or something. Clearly, they have, uh, what's it called? They've got themselves, uh, Mr. Luke Cage, Nick Cage, doing what they can to, uh, keep the dream alive. Yo, this, this invisible woman's taking a beating. Crystal! Well. Draw a card, any card. I would love to Phoenix Jean Grey. I just don't know if that actually makes a whole lot of sense. I'm not convinced that's a good game plan. I wish it was. The only hope we have is to play Hella here and just pray that we top deck this friggin' Modoc here. Oh my god. Bottom of the deck? Come on! How does this happen? What a joke. What a huge L. Absolutely massive L taken right there. Brandon knows the RNG Jesus is not on our side. All right, Brandon. I'm bringing the heat. Gamma Lab. Imagine being able to play in the Gamma Lab. We, we should just leave. If he fills this location, we got to get the hell out of here. Jub would have pulled it. The Jubilee. Jubilee would have pulled it. It's most certainly the true, true, uh, true words. We cannot play Invisible Woman there. I mean, do we play the game where we just top deck? No, we no, we play this right. We play this right. We're playing Hella. It's not about the cube loss. It's about the emotional damage we occur along the way. I don't know about this interaction, by the way. I literally don't know. If I play a card into Anti Maze, into Anti Maze over here, if it goes all Naruto on me and throws it to the left or something, I have no idea. Wow. What a joke. Imagine being able to play cards in a card game. Yo, sauce me something I can play. Oh! We just double snapped each other. Oh, what a beatdown. This poor invisible woman. Okay, so let's not go left. This is okay, it doesn't get much better than this. Could still win left, by the way, but we no, we need. Okay. 
Okay, they, oh, come on. Oh, we have to win. There's no way. Thank you. Iron Man. I am built to lose these types of games, by the way. No, no. Oh my God, I forgot. For a second, I'm like, oh, she's gonna give us an extra turn. I thought for a sec, I in my head, I was like, no, don't give us an extra turn, the game's over. But the game was over, because it's Invisible Woman. I know she doesn't trigger. I got scared for a sec. I haven't played Helen so long. Oh, he's gone. We got the win. Let's go. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Yes, let's go. Okay. I've not played Hella Discard in so friggin' long that I forgot about the interaction with magic. I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. Guys, look at this. We did it. We got ourselves a gold ticket. And, um, I don't know. Hey, listen. You gotta keep your eye on the prize. Hella Conquest did it for us. And we'll see you on that next Marvel Snap episode.